Okay, so we have the uh, first task here, refined gold. Well, this is an odd first project. I feel like someone's having a laugh at my expense. Why? Were you asked to create the Philosopher's Stone? Close, actually. One more guess. Transform lead into gold. Yes, apparently there's an old Van Tassen lead mine, and wouldn't it be better if it produced gold instead? Arman suggests it so casually. Sounds wonderful. Time to put your university degree to the test. Well, let's see if we can transmute lead into gold. We do have the glyph of projection. And uh, taking a look over here, uh, we can see that we need to transmute it once, twice, three, four, five times to turn lead into gold. So we've got the regent, we've got the, uh, we've got the product we need, gold. We've got the regents, the lead, the quicksilver. And we need to turn this into gold using the glyph of projection. Uh, now we could use a couple of arms, uh, like so, and uh, do it that way. Uh, I'd like to try this one though, which I don't often use. Uh, so we've got number one. We're going to move that uh, around clockwise. We need to pick it up first. Number two needs to pick up as well. That one's clockwise. This one's anti-clockwise. Uh, and then this one needs to let go. We're going to hold the, uh, the lead here. And then this arm will spin around, pick up these, and then drop them. Uh, I think we need to do it at once, plus another four times. Yeah, so we just need to keep going around. So pick up, not spin, pick up, spin, drop, not spin, pick up, not spin, drop. So let's just see how this this. Oh, we are missing one actually. So I guess I could. Add the pickup there. Um, do a drop and a pick up and then spin. Um, drop, pick up, spin. Uh, drop that one, pick up that one. Spin that around, and I think I need to do it once. Once more, twice more. Now we don't need to reset uh, reset to start because um, it's just going to keep going around. And then the first arm, we need to spin once more and that should turn that into gold. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, not quite, one more. Uh, so let's stop. Gold. Uh, and I guess I need to drop that. Reset that. Okay, now I don't need that final pickup there, so let's get rid of that one. Okay, that seems to be working fine. Might be a little bit more expensive with this wheel, but I think it looks a little bit, a uh, little bit nicer having the wheel like that. So we just need to do that six times. So yes, yeah, a little bit more expensive, but uh, used fewer cycles than the average, and area is fairly large as well, I guess. But uh, that's okay. Can you make lead into gold? I can scarcely believe it. Well, at least it's finished with now like asking a fish if it can swim. You're taking this remarkably poorly, Anateus. I was expecting a challenge, that's all. Now it sounds like you want a chance to show off. 
Uh, I'm not sure I'd go that far. Okay, so obviously it's too easy for Anateus and we will be getting into more difficult uh, products very soon. Uh, so we've got another uh, five that we can choose from and uh, we'll start with uh, face powder next. Have you seen the Lady Van Tassen recently? A few days ago, why? Did you notice how pale her face is? Oh, she's well known for her pallor. Why did someone ask you to do something about it? Armand himself did. It seems it's gotten worse lately. People are whispering about her health. That's unfortunate. The lady hasn't had an easy time of things. I'd hate to see her slandered on top of it all. Uh, let's go and have a look. So we need to make the, uh, the face cream. We've only got one item here. So I think what I'm going to do is just use one arm. Um, you could use two arms, uh, possibly, uh, and do it um, that way. Uh, play around with that uh, somehow, but what I think I will do instead is use uh, one arm here with the glyph of calcification. Pop, pop that one down there. Um, then put the, uh, that's the earth, isn't it? Now uh, put the earth down there. And then we have the final product. Oops. So that's the final product there. This is what we want to use to combine. The glyph of bonding. Okay, so we're going to start here. Let's pick up, drag it around uh, twice, drop it, let's go to the left twice, pick up, um, back around to the left, twice, that should bond with the salt, Uh, so it's going to be hanging onto the earth, which means we're going right twice. I'm going to spin that around to the left. Um, hopefully I've done that right in my head. And reset to the beginning. Oops. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Oops. So I'll do once more there. See if we can just do it with a single arm. That does not actually need to spin. Let's get rid of that. Um, now the reset actually drops what you're holding. There we go. So it's fairly compact. I don't think you could do it any more compact than that. Probably fairly cheap as well. So yeah, fairly cheap, smallest area that I could find. A few more cycles than uh, some other people, but I think that sounds, looks fine. You might be able to do it with fewer cycles if you add a second arm, but then it does get a little bit more expensive as well. So I think that's, uh, that's fairly efficient there. Let's uh, move on to the next one. This should help the lady's face look less pale, though it's quite a superficial solution. Who can really say what troubles the Lady Van Tassen? It's not for us to know. Have we ever heard her speak? She didn't say a word during the dinner I went to. I remember her speaking to me once or twice when I was a child. Odd, just another one of the many Van Tassen mysteries, I suppose. One gets used to them after a while. Okay, let's uh, see what else we can do. So the next one is the waterproof sealant. Let's take a look at this. Do you, know, do you know much about ships, Concordia? Our merchant fleet delivers goods from overseas about once a month. Why? Captain Gale told me they used to have some kind of substance. They put in the hulls so they don't rot. I don't know anything about it. Have you ever been on a ship? I haven't, no. You? Not at all. It sounds ghastly. Being tossed around in the ocean then getting eaten by sea monsters. I'm not sure all sea voyages are like that. Enough of them are. Yes, doesn't sound fantastic. So we do have the glyph of multi-bonding uh, that we can use as well. You can use the 
uh, the glue for bonding and just spin things around so they make that shape. Um, the game is sh pointing this out to us. Uh, we do have to make the uh, product here, the water, water and earth, I think it is. Oh, air, air and earth, okay. This is going to make the uh, water sealant. We've been given the air and the earth to play around with. So I guess what we're going to need to do is make it the same shape there. That's what we need. Um, I think I will use a couple of arms. We've got two regents here, so I may as well use two arms. So that just gets placed there. Okay, so this really shouldn't be too difficult. Doing it this way anyway, I'm sure there's lots of different ways to uh, to do this. Let's pick up number one goes to the right twice. Drops. Uh, should drop it and then return back to the left twice. That's what that should do. Then we're going to pick up again. Go to the right once, uh, drop it and uh, re oh, return to the beginning. Uh, the other arm, once that's done, is going to hang on to the earth here. Um, how's that actually going to look? like that. I think so. We'll see how this goes. So, release moves to the right. And uh, we should be good. So, let's see if we can do this first go. Oh, why didn't you hang on to that? Oh, okay. That should work. Okay, nice. Looks like it's uh, working fine. I'll just let this play out. Produce the six products. Once again, fairly low cost. Cycles is about average. Area is about average. So I'm sure there's a few different ways that we could do this. We could probably lower the area a little bit by using the um, this glyph here uh, instead of this one we can use um, oops oh, I didn't mean to do that why is that selected everything uh, we could use that and we, we could spin the uh, spin the items around so it makes that shape but uh, it's just a bit simpler in this case to use uh, the glyph of multi bonding so that works fine and that uh, will continue on to the next product with the sealant ready, the fleet should be soon. Uh, the fleet should soon be ready to set sail again and bring back well, whatever it brings. They're loaded with all kinds of things: cloth, pottery, mineral ores, rare herbs, strange stones, sometimes even animals. Sounds like a good business. I'm not sure. Those contracts were drawn up centuries ago. I doubt even Armand knows the details. <laughs> 